Well, when most people are getting ready to retire to North Ta North Dallas, grandmas went a whole different route and decided to open a bakery. So their kids thought, you know what, you're crazy. <laughs> but their customers are crazy for their Iranian treats. Hannah Davis had to go out to these women and, you know, she says that they can go after their dream at any age. Mm. Almond cookie. This little bakery in North Dallas will make you feel right at home. Grandma's home, to be exact. This little oven makes a lot of things in here. <laughs> Sherry Gafar and Ashraf Husseini opened this small and cozy spot a few months ago. They both had a lot of experience baking for their grandchildren. I love them. But no experience owning a bakery or running a brick and mortar. And their kids had some concerns, to say the least. She said, Mom, you're 65 years old. Are you signing a five-year lease? I said, well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> but you don't mess with two grandmas when they've made up their minds. When you do something you like, I don't think the age would matter at all. Both born in Iran, they specialize in pastries from back home. Their kitchen is tiny. Yeah, it's good that she's little. She can get in here. <laughs> but they're cranking out big results, beautiful cakes, and sweet treats that transport their customers back home with one bite. And he came in here and he said, cookies I took home? I've been longing to have something like that. One of their biggest sellers is the Iranian baklava. It's different and more subtle than many of the Mediterranean baklavas Americans are used to. So why not pick it up on Friday now? Just a few months in, they're already in the black. No small feat for a new business run by brand new owners. <laughs> and maybe that's the power of the grandma. They take ordinary ingredients in an ordinary space and with a little love and grandma magic, make something you'll never forget. I said, go for it. We did. Yes, we <laughs> did. <laughs> in Dallas, Hannah Davis. And you